Hi students, welcome to online classes for a degree first year English medium students. Students, we are uh, seriously and serially we are discussing the indifference curve analysis. It is the first unit of our uh, topic. So here we discussed in this lesson indifference curve analysis means how a consumer equilibrium with the help of indifference curve and uh, what is the ICC curve we discussed in the previous videos. Today I am going to analyze the what is the PCC curve. How a consumer will be equilibrium with the indifference curve and how we can explain the PCC curve. Let me analyze here. See this side. Right? Price consumption curve. Simple. Price consumption curve means so P C C. What is the P P C C means already we discussed the indifference curve analysis totally depends upon the ordinal utility. What is the ordinal utility means the utility which can be comparison between one commodity to another commodity already you know the utility which can be comparison between one commodity to another commodity why means here if you want to analyze the ordinal utility we need to two more commodities why? because it is a comparison comparison means uh, we need to two more commodities that's why we take in the two goods one is x good second one is y good namely example you can take a good b good also. so how a consumer will be equilibrium a consumer will be uh, equilibrium with the help of indifference curve so this is called uh, price consumption curve how can we explain the price consumption curve let me say here one is the income of the consumer constant income of the consumer constant this is the first assumption then y price constant then changes in x price first assumption is income of the consumer constant income of the consumer constant means how much income the person have a consumer have for example 100 rupees for example take an example consumer has a limited income uh, out of his limited income the price of x is constant y is constant the y price is constant then changes in x price only then what is the um, what is the what is the equilibrium of the consumer how a equilibrium of the consumer with the help of the changing price for example let me say one is this is a outlines of a diagram ox then oy this is a x goods the consumer is a user the x good and here y good here x goods Oy axis represent on y good and uh, yx axis represent on x good. Then this is the budget line. Simple. This is the budget line. Budget line namely A, B. This is the budget line. So this is the level of the income of the consumer. And this budget line is there. But what is the uh, uh, IC curve? This is IC curve. IC one. IC means satisfaction giving curve. So the satisfaction giving curve is uh, at a point E. At a point E, the consumer is equilibrium. How can we say the consumer will be equilibrium? Which means where the IC curve touch the budget curve, that is called equilibrium. Is it? IC curve, budget curve, both are equal. Both are equal means uh, IC curve touch the budget line. The, for the consumer will be the equilibrium at point P. Then the price of X good changes, but no changes in Y good. Then automatically he, the consumer is a, what is it? He wants to change, he wants to increase the X good. 
which means simple this is a another budget line a b b1 how much so this is a another budget line means y consumption y good consumption is only o a the level of o y good is o a level but uh, the consumption of o x is increases to b to b1 is it so that's why the x good consumption increases when the price changes automatically the consumption increases price consumption curve price consumption curve the x good price changes no changes in y good due to the consumer is ready to purchase the more and more x good so he b2 b1 then and they want to equilibrium this is how i see simple e1 at the previous previous level the consumer is uh, equilibrium at a point e when the price of x good changes automatically the equilibrium of the consumer is also changed means at a point e the consumer is equilibrium then if the price of x good decreases price decreases he wants to consume the more and more x goods then this is also ic3 consumption curve ic3 curve once again observe at point e the consumer will be equilibrium consumer is equilibrium so when the price of x good changes automatically the uh, equilibrium is changed to e to e1 okay then the price is uh, decreases then the equilibrium is uh, increases to b1 to then b2 okay here another equilibrium then the consumer is interested to equilibrium at point to e2 okay at the previous level e then e1 then e2 isn't it so why what are the changes in the price what are the changes in the equilibrium in the consumer why the consumer is interested to change the uh, another budget line which means when the prices of two goods but one price changes and uh, um, another price uh, of a good constant uh, then he wants to change the equilibrium then he increases and is also he change to equilibrium when the all equilibrium points we joined all equilibrium points uh, we get the pcc curve is it so what is the pcc curve the pcc curve is the combination of uh, previous combination of the consumer and the present combination of the consumer <coughs> and the third uh, combination of the consumer is it so these these are the various points when we joined we can get the price consumption curve so this is the way of the presentation of uh, price the price of the commodity changes automatically the consumption is also changes so we draw the, the price consumption curve so this is called uh, price consumption curve so students this is the way of the presentation of price consumption curve so meeku ee video nachithe like cheyandi tarvata mee friends arunnante share cheyandi kotha valaithe subscribe cheyandi thank you thank you very much